shout of one. First and foremost, want to give all praise, glory, honor, do unto Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Hashem, the Kakadash. Double honors to the apostle and else a great millstone. Another respect to the brother teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. Coming back to coming back at you again with another lesson through the prosperity of by Shem Al Shah, Hashem Rakadash, Rakatham. To all the sense of listeners out there. And uh, you know, we're just gonna, you know, roll through the spirit and and just go ahead and and uh, you know basically do a lesson. And uh, you know, so like it. You know, it's just uh here you go, just roll through the spirit uh in a, doing a lesson. And uh, and it's and it's strange how um, you know if you sit back, you actually meditate on what's going on. You know, uh, you know about the end times and everything. You you see clearly that uh, we are at the end of this man's rulership. You know, and a lot of people out there, you know, they panicking. They, um, you know what I'm saying? They, um, you know what I'm saying? They on edge, you know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out, you know, what is going on, why things are the way that they are, and uh, why it's, you know, think, you know, the society is getting worse. And you have more and more, um, um, you know, uh, plagues that are going on throughout the earth. You got division among the nations. You got, um, you know what I'm saying? You got, uh, you know, nature itself is crying in, 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 in travail. And the reason why it sucks is because you have about Shimei al Shah. It's basically, he, he's pretty much wrapping this thing up. And what I mean by that is that, um, you know, wickedness has been permeating throughout the earth long enough. And Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah is, is basically, he, he's going to put a plug on this thing, man, because, you know, you peep out there, uh, you continue to do wickedness. You continue to disobey the law, statute, commands of Yahweh by Hashem Shah. You continue to disrespect the men of the Lord, which are the prophets. They are on the highways, byways, teaching, putting their lives on the line to make sure that the word of Yahweh by Hashem Shah is gone forth. But yet, you know, you have people out there just. Constant disrespect the prophets, they disrespect Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. They, they made no regard for his word, but then wonder why things are going the way that they are. You know what I'm saying? Because you people don't have no regard for the words of the Most High. And then when things happen, you know, the way that they do, then, then you want to act that shot at the door that, uh, you know, why is these things are going on? You know what I'm saying? Why do we have, why is Jacob trouble going on? Why is it that, you know, these shops, you know, these stores are closing? Why is there a uh, miracle Babylon the greatest falling? You know what I'm saying? Why is the other nations turning their back on the miracle Babylon the great? Because everything, it has to happen according to the scripture. That's what it all boils down to. And in order for, you know, you know, the earth to be back in righteousness, to be back in rulership, all the wickedness, all the dross and all the tin have to be purged out from the earth, you know, cause sin and righteousness cannot dwell in unity because what, cause sin tells you do, what sin tells you do the opposite of what righteousness tells you. 
You know what I'm saying? You probably like, what do you mean by that? Because sin is according to first John three and four, sin is the transgression of the law. You know what I'm saying? What law? The law so you how by shimmy how shot. You know what I'm saying? Because the law you how by shimmy how shot tell, tells you not to make any cuts in your flesh. But you got well the law tells you not to make any cuts in your flesh. And but what sin will say that uh, you know what I'm saying, for example, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. You have to make a cutting in your flesh and for them to insert the microchip. You know what I'm saying? And the scripture tell you that if you take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be destroyed. But you got these camps out here. They push in there, oh, you, you know, you need to take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. You know, and you know, and you know, they start out telling you that you need to take the the mat thing, which you know we don't supposed to make no cuts in our flesh according to the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? And and, the, and you know they could do the complete opposite of what the word you have by Shema Shah said. Why? Because the fact of the matter is they hate the Most High. They they hate everything that the Most High stand for, and so now what they want to do. They, they want to do away with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah all together. And the only way that they, in their mind, they believe it's going to happen is they get rid of the Israelites, you so called Black Latinos, Native Americans. Because because these, you know, because these people, they they hate righteousness. They hate the laws of the Lord. They hate the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They, they hate righteousness. They. They love wickedness. You know what I'm saying? They love it to the fullest because because these people, these are wicked. You know what I'm saying? They they these are wicked. And they have, you know what I'm saying, they they do not want you how Shimmy how to shot to have no type of rulership. You know what I'm saying? They they want to ex out the Messiah. You know what I'm saying? They want to ex out the most high. And, and you know what I'm saying, you got the people that are in their rulership, you know what I'm saying, they want to be the most high. And they want to undo everything that the most high have done. You know what I'm saying? Because these, these people are, are wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? These people want to get rid of anything that is righteous. And if you, you know, you speak out against the wickedness, and you speak out against those things that are contrary to the scriptures. They classify you as a terrorist. They classify you as you you are uh, you you are uh, teaching hate. But you know all the time, you know when they you know they slaughter a hundred million over hundred million Native Americans and slaughter many of our ancestors and our people. You know what I'm saying? They don't look at that as hate. You know what I'm saying? They look at it that, you know what I'm saying, that you're a part of the problem. You didn't want to listen to what we had to say. You rebelled. So we had to slaughter you. We had to kill you because you, you didn't listen to us. You didn't want to listen to what we had to say. And, and, and you went against what we said. So we had to do what we had to do. And this is the mindset, you know, of the wicked, you know, because the wicked wants to cut off you know, the name of Israel off the face of the earth. Let, let's get that scripture to start off. You know, very familiar scripture, Psalms the 83rd chapter. And we're going to start at the top. And it reads, This is a song of, or a psalm of Asaph. Keep not thy silence, O power. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hated thee have lifted up the head. And they have taken crafty counsel against thy people have, and, and consulted against thy hidden ones. And they said, Come and let, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted, with, consulted together with uh, one consent. They are confederate against thee, 
in, in Psalms 83rd chapter, verse 1 through 5, you know what I'm saying, makes it very clear that, the, that these nations wanted to cut off the name of Israel from, from the remembrance of, you know, from, from, from the whole earth, man, especially from our people. Because they know we come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shem Al Shah. They know it's gonna be the end of their rulership. You know, so they know it's gonna be the end of them taking advantage of us. Because that them that's always been that they they whole MO is to always take advantage of the chosen people of Yahweh Shem Al Shah. By, by, you know, by cutting off, you know, wanting our name to be cut off on the earth forever. You know what I'm saying? Because they know that, you know, once we remember our powerful name, you know, you howl by Shimmy Al Shah, and once we repent and come back to our power, like I said, you know, they know this is that it's going to be the end of their rulership. And and for, for these, for you wicked two thirds out there, you want you want to sell out the men of the Lord to try to have comforts here, comfort here. Guess what? They want they they want you. They want to kill and cut you off too. You know what I'm saying? You you don't get no pass because you don't sold out, sold out the men of the Lord, and you trying to you took that purse, you took that five hundred one c three, and and you trying to build in this kingdom. Guess what? The devil's going to kill you too. You know what I'm saying? Because these devils have no bounds, man. You know what I'm saying? They they talk a good game. Like if you you write out the write out the, the true men's order, or you write out the prophets, we're gonna make sure you well taken care of. But the same token, these devils gonna these devils may smile in your face, but they got their knife behind their back waiting to kill you, waiting to stab you up. And a lot a lot of you chase, you're gonna find out the hard way, man. Now the scripture tells us, you know, to never trust our enemy. You know, for if iron is rusted, so is his wickedness, man. And a lot of you people, you, you trust your enemy. And you're going to realize, like it, the same person that you trust and you thought they had your back, them, that's the same person is, is going to come out and, you know what I'm saying, he's going to kill you. You know what I'm saying? He's going to... He's going to take away your life presently, man. And that's what these devils want. Like I said in Psalms 80, 83rd chapter 4, verse, we're going to read again. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel be no more remembrance. And and, and how are they going to do that? They, they going to do that by, you know, first and foremost, they, they going to go crouching. And they going to act like they're your friend. But at the same time, they, you know what I'm saying, they hate you. And they want to make war with you by pushing pushing this uh, Maxine, which is the RFID microchip. Well, which the Maxine, they want to push the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. You know what I'm saying? These people have no bounds, man. These people do not care. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and they, you know what I'm saying, they rock with, with you know, the seed of Israel because the elect is waking up and the elect has repented and come back to the law, statute, commandments of Yahweh, Shem Al Shah. And by, by, you know, the elect waking up and repent, you know what I'm saying? They made, they made the, uh, they made, uh, Esau eat a rock, you know what I'm saying? And, and he, and he, and now he, he's out here, he, he really, uh, showing his horns and he, and he's, he's going to make war with you Israelites, man, as the reading. Revelation chapter 12 verse 17 and it reads and the dragon will wrath with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of a seed which kept the commandments of Yahweh and had a testimony of Yahweh shah and the dragon which is Esau in him he's wrath with the woman why is he wrath with, with, with who is the woman the woman is you is the Israel man you so called black Latino Native Americans you are the true biblical Israelites that the Bible speaks of and why is he wrong with the with with the Israelites, with the so, these so-called Black Latino Native Americans? Why? Because the remnant of, of Israel are waking up. You know, they woke up, and 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 they remember who they were, as it says in Baruch chapter two, verse thirty. Let's get that real quick, and we'll go back to Revelation. 
because guess what? We were cut off from our power because we, we disobeyed the law, statute, commandments of Yah, by Shem Yah, Shah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know what I'm saying? And we disobeyed them. That's the reason why we were cut off. We was, and, you know, we was invited of dry bones, as we read in Ezekiel chapter 37. But this is Baruch 2 and, two and, uh, and uh, 28. And it reads, As thou spakest by thy servant Moses any day, when thou didst command him to write the law before, thy, before the children of Israel, saying, if ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall turn into a small number among the nations where where I will scatter them. For I, for I knew that they would not hear me because it's a stiff necked people. But, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves and they shall know that I am Yahweh they power and will give them a heart and ears to hear and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and and think upon my name and, and return from their stiff neck and their wicked deeds. And that's the reason why the he devils are mad. Because once once for all once upon a time we forgot who we were, as it's as it written in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4, that we got discontinued from our heritage. And you know, you have our shimmy outside cut us off from, you know, from being being a nation, man. You know, we got we got cut off from from our heritage because we disobeyed the Most High. And now since we're coming back to our to our heritage, the devils are mad and upset. You know what I'm saying? They're mad and upset over that, and that's the reason why the devil wants to kill us and cut us off, man. And that's the reason why they making war. With with uh with uh you know making war you know the devil make uh he's all you making war with with you black so called black Latino day Americans because the elect has woken up and they return to their power you know I just want to uh, make a quick lesson you know through prosperity how about Jimmy outside pray that you edify you know so like it for cutting it short because I have to you know get back on the plantation per se. And with that, I want to give all praise, glory, honor, doing to you. How about Shimmy Alshah, by Shimmy Kakadash, double honors to the apostle and else, a great millstone. And no respect to the brother teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon. You how willing, Shalom, a Baba Ball, and Kwame Yasharala. Shalom.